Hey there everyone, time for another vlog. Now this week you guys know how big of a Doctor Who fan I am, and even though we're probably going to be talking about this on Sandcast this week, I figured I would give my own personal feelings about the new Doctor. Now I say this for the following. For some reason, there are some people that believe that knowing who the actor is going to be is actually a spoiler. Ergo, I say the following. Spoiler alert. I will not put the actor in the description of this video. I will not put it anywhere. So if you do not want to know who it is, stop the video right now. Okay, are all of them gone? Okay. So, Peter Capaldi is the new Doctor, and quite frankly, I'm excited about it. I sat there watching the live event because, you know, I didn't have anything else to do. I'd already done everything else for a Sunday. And then they did the big reveal. Peter Capaldi walked out. And funnily enough, the name Peter Capaldi did not hold a automatic recognition until I saw his face. Because Peter Capaldi is one of those actors, at least for me as an American, I think, where unless you're into the specific shows that he was in, you know him by face more than you do actual name. So whenever he walked on stage, I went, that guy, oh, this is awesome. And the reason why is because he is an older actor. We've gotten used to the Doctor, and mind you, classic series fan completely, as well as new series fan. I like them both. As far as I'm concerned, it's one ongoing show. I don't really have a distinction, but for those that do, I like both the classic series and the new series, so I have nothing wrong with either one of them. But it does feel like a possible classic Doctor move could be with an older actor taking the reins of the Doctor again. In fact, Stephen Moffat, originally before Matt Smith came along, had planned to get an older Doctor until Matt Smith practically stole it away from everyone else with his ability to be the old man in a young man's body. So it wasn't like this wasn't exactly a surprise. Um, so, Peter Capaldi, from the work that I have seen him in, has the ability to deliver sardonic wit like no one else I've seen. I fully see us having a possibly more serious Doctor and one that's sarcastic, although, given the breadth of how the man can act, because I've seen him in various different roles, we may not even have someone that we've seen out of him before, so it could be completely out of left field and be something that we've never seen him. Of course, everyone makes the joke from the thick of it, a show where he played a political press guy, where, we've effing time-traveled, yes? You know, it, it, that's a phrase that he used, so people have been inserting it in every kind of mashup joke possible. A lot of people have even joked, oh, we're gonna have the first Doctor that swears a lot. You know, but obviously that's not going to happen, but it has led to funny jokes. I have one concern, and it's not a concern that I have on my own, and like I said, we'll probably discuss this on Samcast, so look that up this week if you want to find more of this, because I'm probably going to bring this up as a discussion. The new series, and nothing against anyone that's a new series fan only, because I've noticed a schism that lies in Doctor who -dom, to where some people just can't stand the classic series, and to each their own, okay. You know, some people can't get past it because it doesn't have the fancy graphics, or, you know, things like that. Some people say it's too cheesy, you know, that everyone has their different reasons, and I respect those reasons, but the possibility of Peter Capaldi being a more classic Doctor, first of all, there won't be any sex appeal involved, and I'm not calling Peter Capaldi an ugly man, but the thing that I mean is the following. You will not be finding 18-year-old girls drooling out of their mouths incessantly at the look of Peter, Peter Capaldi. You may have some, but not all of them. An older woman may find him attractive, and that's perfectly fine. But you're not going to see the fervor, like, for instance, I'm pulling a name randomly. Oh, heck, I'm not. David Tennant. Whenever David Tennant came along, that's when a lot of... And I've got to watch this carefully because I'm trying not to be sexist or anything. But there were a lot of people that liked David Tennant as a whole, both male and female, of what he brought to the table. Although I've always said one thing. If someone says that their doctor is the tenth doctor and I ask them why, and the first thing that comes out of their mouth is, he's hot, then you lost the conversation for me. I'm like, well, if that's the first thing you like. Because David Tennant brought fantastic things to the role. But because of him being, you know, kind of sex symbol, like, 
wink, you know, pull off those glasses, give a little wink, and ha ha, you know, that sort of thing. It did bring a lot of people to the show thinking, oh, this guy's hot, but then they stayed once they realized how, you know, awesome Doctor Who was as a whole. So he really did do things to drag people into Doctor Who that may not have even touched it, thinking it was this horrible geeky thing. But we've had David Tennant and Matt Smith, both actors that with different arguabilities, I've heard different people around my age, the 20-somethings and on down, say that they're attractive, they're snappy, they're cool, you know. And with an older character, an older person now playing the role, he will actually, fun bit of trivia, be as old as the first Doctor, William Hartnell, was when he first took up the role. Neat little way of everything coming full circle. But the point is, with an older actor, it worries me that the just new series fans may feel alienated. And me being a classic series fan, I still, you know, it's, it's exciting for me. It really is to finally have an older actor come back to the role to where you could do some different things with him. And any time an actor comes to the role of the Doctor, something else gets added as a layer. And in this case, we may be reminded the Doctor is an old man. He's several hundred years old. Debatable, depending on what you go with, so I'm not even going to go there. You guys know I don't care about canon as much as other people do. But, it, that is my only concern, that possibly just new series fans may go, Oh, older guy? Nah. You know, I hope that there are new series fans that give him a chance. Regenerations are always difficult, no matter who you go through, whether it be your sexy David Tennant or your more somber Christopher Eccleston, as he was my first Doctor, so I never even went with the sex appeal part, although a certain relative of mine found him attractive, too. You can guess who. Uh, but <laughs> that threw someone under the bus, didn't it? <laughs> but the, the point is that I hope that Doctor Who fans keep an open mind. I've already heard one Tenet fan say, Ugh, we got an older creepy guy now. And I hope, and I think, that those are the limited amounts. That we will not have such a backlash over, Oh, we've got an older actor now, now the show's not as cool. I hope that's not the case. But, for all of you that are thinking that, give him a chance. Whenever you have a Doctor Regenerate, you're always going to have the feeling of, Who's this guy? I want the other Doctor back! Give me my Doctor back! You know, but then you see him walk around in his skin for a little bit, and you realize, the Doctor's back. And so far, that's never been a case for me, that I've never seen a Doctor that I didn't like. And I'm sure Peter Capaldi will be no exception. So, if you guys want to find the other vlogs that I've done, go to tscn.tv slash vlog, and you can find all of them there. And I look forward to seeing how this is all going to pan out. If you want to send me any feedback on this, leave a comment below, or send it to samcastfeedback at gmail.com. I've been forgetting to put that in these videos. Anyway, until next week, see you guys, and live a good life, as you can always do. See you guys. This has been a production of the Samcast Network, tscn.tv. What's your passion?